Hello there people. This video is about creating a logo using Microsoft Paint. Now if you look at the screen here, I already have Paint open. The first thing you're going to do is to create an outline for our logo. Just to remind you, this video is for students working at the pass grade or the C grade. I'm going to create a logo. I already have Paint opened here. On the school network, you need to click on Start All Programs then go to accessories and you should find paint in the list so let's start I want to create an outline I'm going to use the shape tools here okay these are the shapes if you look here you see different shapes lines um, circles hexagons whatever what I'm going to use is the rectangle so I'll just click on the rectangle and I will select a color for my rectangle so I'm going to select a red color now let's choose a black color for now now I'll click and drag on the stage okay that is my rectangle that will be the outline of my logo next thing I want to do is I want to fill in the rectangular shape with a color the color scheme for Ashdown is black red and white I could leave it as white but I'm going to choose a red color so I will first choose the paint or the fill bucket and I'll go and select a color choose red go to my shape click the shape to add the red fill or color to it once I'm done I'm going to write in some text remember it's Ashdown school the motto for Ashdown school is small school big dreams so I'm going to click on the text tool which is the it's represented by symbols like that that's a click on it and that's the text tool and click on the stage where you want to write once you click you get a new um, option open you can choose the font size I'm going to choose 16 you can choose the font type or the font style I'm going to choose Algerian and I'm going to choose black as the color I'm going to type in Ashdown School. Now, as you can see, it the text has been put on top of each other. If I want it across, straight up, I can just click and drag the ends of these box, the points here, the anchor points. If you look here, look at my mouse, right there. So I'll click on this anchor point and drag it out. Right now, I have it um, horizontal across the screen next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write the motto for Ashdown which is small school big dreams I'm going to write it on the bottom here so I'll click on the bottom of my stage click there and there you have it I'm going to drag it back I don't want size 16 I'm going to choose a size 10 so I'm going to type in small school big dreams remember a logo must be simple the logo must be understated don't add too many gimmicks to it keep it really simple I'll just drag it to the end and let it sit right there right now the next thing I want to do is I want to add a few little shapes to it to do that I'm going to go home and I'm going to select if I click on the drop down arrow there are more shapes I could select my freehand drawing is not so good so I'll just select some shapes from here I'll select the star and I will choose, I'll ed, click on edit color and I can kind of um, customize my colors a bit so I'll choose a little bit of red and click on red and sort of red I want I'll choose and just click into red there on the side and I'll choose different hue for it and I'll choose a blackish hue like that as you can see so it's a mixture of red and black and then I will come and draw my stars click and drag across the screen right there that's one sort of three stars that's another and there is another that's three stars okay nothing really um, serious just something really simple stretch out my star a bit Right, so I have three stars in. 
the next thing I want to do is I want to add a picture okay to my logo to do that I first need to save my logo I'll simply click on this drop down or the blue box right there click it or click on the save tool which is the save shortcut which is up here okay once you click it you can choose where to save it remember you're saving it in your AO4 folder and you're calling it Ashdown logo so I'm going to go in my images folder and I'm going to save it as Ashdown logo and I'm going to click on the drop down and I'm going to choose JPEG make sure you choose JPEG okay and you have it right there okay you have the name as you can see I've created quite a few logos but this is what I want to save it as and I'll click on save once that is saved I have a picture that I've already saved that I want to put in there so I'll simply go click on the drop down menu go to open and I'm going to find this crown here which is what I want to use so I'll click it and as you can see it's open but it's filled my whole screen you can zoom out move your mouse cursor to the bottom right hand corner of the screen and click on the zoom button to zoom out now I've got my crown here to move it into my logo that I'm creating I will go and click on the selection tool and I'll click and drag around the crown so there we go I've selected it I'm now going to click on copy to copy the crown I'm now going to go back to this blue um, button click it find the logo that you just saved Ashdown logo right now that we've got our picture open we just need to paste in the picture of the crown what we do is we move our mouse cursor and click on paste to paste the crown it's quite big don't worry about it all you need to do is to simply click on the end points which are these little squares simply click them and drag them down okay so that you can see the picture let's click and drag we want to resize the picture scroll down so you can see let's resize the picture we want it quite small let's resize the picture we want it quite small I'm just gonna resize till my picture is the correct size that I want to use so there I have it I have a picture of a crown which I have resized pasted in and resized I'm just gonna resize it a little bit more and I'm just gonna click and drag and paste it in my logo let's resize it a little bit more okay now I have my logo this is how it's gonna be it's really simple for a pass it doesn't need to be anything fancy now that you've got that we just want to cut out our logo and that is what we're gonna do next right now we need to crop out all this white space and just leave the logo to do that we click on the crop tool we come to our logo and we click and drag around the edges okay click and drag there you have it until you can see a box around the logo simply go and click on crop and you crop out the white space you have your logo left click on the blue button click on save as and choose JPEG and save it as your Ashdown logo and that's it you've created a logo in Microsoft Paint now please go and do it and try it for yourself thank you